did you just see what I just saw? For real, did you see what I just saw? The fan is spinning. What? Reason Studios announced some time back that they would be releasing Reason 12 first through the Reason Plus platform. So if you're a Reason Plus subscriber, that means you'll have access to all of the new features as they are rolled out. Any new rack extensions that Reason Studios develops and rolls out. And of course, all of the sound packs that myself and other creators like DNA Labs, Sean Murray, etc are releasing on a regular basis now we don't control these releases of course reason studios does so definitely check those out if you haven't already if you're interested in grabbing reason plus then you can click the link below and get started the first upgrade i want to talk about is the high resolution graphics now this allows you to see the fine details on each device every device doesn't have uh the same details as the next so you'll see different fingerprints you'll see different kind of granular changes in the texture of the devices and even so on the red drum if you flip it around you'll see the fan spinning okay dope how's that gonna help my production next on the list we have zoomable windows so this means that you can zoom into the rack closer. You can see everything clearly without having to set up an extra function in your Mac computer or your Windows computer so that it is an option. This is cool. I think that, you know, being able to see the rack is very important. And I think this kind of goes hand in hand with the high resolution feature because if you zoom in and everything's all grainy because the graphics suck then what's the point of zooming in um anyways that's cool it's a nice update the third one is the updatable browser function so faster browser search this means as soon as you type in something the browser will automatically narrow everything based off that first character you typed followed by the second one so if i type in let's say hydronexius i'm looking for a dna labs uh, rack extension hydronexius h y as soon as i type it in it'll start to narrow my search to fit what matches those characters i've already typed now this is dope it's a big time saver i remember having to use version 5 through 11 and having to click in what i wanted to search type it in and then having to wait for it to search my entire computer for everything that fit the category that was torture. That brings me to our sponsor, DistroKid. If you're looking to release some of that music that's been sitting on your hard drive, then I strongly suggest you use DistroKid. DistroKid has a new goodies tab, which was previously just named More. It's a suite of both old and new marketing tools, old if you've already been using DistroKid. This includes Spotlight, which enables you to submit your song to be voted on for a placement on a DistroKid Spotify playlist. Also Spotify Canvas, which is essentially a motion graphic that pops up when your song plays on Spotify. Upstream, which allows you to be contacted by major labels. And promo cards, which are super dope graphics that'll help add some variety in your content strategy. Here's some of the ones I created. If you're already a DistroKid member, simply log in and check out the amenities of the goodies tab. If you're not already a DistroKid member, you can get a 7% discount on your first year's membership by signing up with the link I provided below. Using that link will help support my channel at no extra cost to you. This brings me to my final consensus. I think that these three features should have been free updates in Reason 11 for all users, not just Reason Plus subscribers. I do understand the drive to get more people to sign up to Reason Plus, given that all of the features, the new rack extensions developed by Reason Studios and Reason Packs are all a part of this platform. I just think that it's not a good look for diehard Reasoners. Reasoners? Yeah reason people is it's not a good look at all because 
people want to see constant upgrades and that's never really been a part of the reason culture and it doesn't seem like it's going to change so in the future i can see a lot of people giving other daws digital audio workstations a chance if they haven't already or just being stubborn and sticking to the old version of reason that they were using before not even caring about what's on reason plus now what i recommend reason plus i realize i haven't talked about this at all um, I would recommend Reason Plus if you're interested in the packs. It's kind of like Splice, but for Reason. So there's a bunch of Reason presets at your disposal, usually combinators in which you can access sounds that are designed by people like me, DNA Labs, Sean Murray, as I think I mentioned earlier. Tons of different designers, SKP, um, New Loops, incredible designers you can access all of that for the fee of the monthly subscription that is the only reason i myself would join reason plus is for the packs now if you're interested in also getting the rack extensions that are developed then you can also subscribe for that reason now the only problem with that is that if you decide to cancel your membership then you no longer have access to those it's not a perpetual forever lasting license you only have it as long as you have that membership it's like paying for cable on dish network or xfinity and as soon as you stop paying your bill you stop receiving your services so it's kind of like that um similar to splice if you cancel your splice membership um that's it you you no longer have credits you lose access to everything if you cancel your reason plus subscription you lose access to everything but i would join for those packs and um, I would join for the rack extensions if you're serious about having those racks and you want all the new stuff when it's released and you don't want to have to worry about upgrading every time, then that's it. <laughs>